going to be our third year uh, doing the barbecue for the troops. We've done it a little bit differently, and this year we really wanted to focus on an experience that the guys could have. We got all the fundraising out of the way that we're going to present directly to the USO, and the barbecue is really just for service members. We have almost 125 who have already RSVP'd. They're coming with their friends and some of their uh, family members, and they're going to be enjoying a barbecue before the game on August 29th. But there's a little surprise for them. I'm not sure that they all know about it, but a, a lot of the players are going to be coming up before the game and greeting them, thanking them for their service. So we think it's going to be a really great surprise. Like I said, we're really focusing this year on the experience for the service members. If you put everything into perspective, we've had it really easy. Uh, and that's just being completely honest. We both have um, a beautiful family that we have together. We both have these careers. And I don't, I don't think we've ever lost perspective on uh, where we got, where we are. And it's because we have so many men and women who sacrifice everything uh, for our freedom. I think when we get to meet these men and women, we get to hear their stories. Some of them are multi-generation. They talk about their, their grandparents' service. Um, and I think when you hear just one story, it just really never leaves you. We love it. We love getting to know them. So I think they've brought a lot to our lives. People who may not even know when they tell us their story, they think that we get these stories every day, but we don't. So it's, it's really rewarding to hear them.